The California Coastal Commission is about to consider approving a plan that includes removing the iconic twin domes of San Onofre's nuclear reactors. Tennis reporter Mimi Alcala joins us in Chula Vista, where some people there are voicing their concerns before the board. Many people are concerned about spent fuel storage and where exactly nuclear waste would go. There's a meeting going on right now where the Coastal Commission will consider approving SoCal Edison's decommissioning project. We want to advance the project. Uh, it's good for the environment. It's good for the people that live near the plant to remove those, uh, the, the plant that's there today. Those, those, those structures serve no purpose. Ron Pond is manager of environmental permitting for San Onofre says the removal would be of all the facilities on the site that are no longer being used. That includes the dismantlement of all the above grade structures and decontamination of what's left behind to meet NRC standards. SoCal Edison's proposed project, which the Coastal Commission is considering at this meeting today, would remove almost everything from the site, including the twin domes. This demolition work would take up to 10 years. This is part of the effort to fully decommission the San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station, also called SONGS. It sits on land owned by the U.S. Navy, but many people are concerned about the spent nuclear waste removal. There have been a number of lawsuits over concerns about the 3.6 million pounds of nuclear waste and where that will go during this process. Activists filed a motion earlier this month where SoCal Edison would be obligated to remove the waste to a safer, more inland location. Attorneys with the law firm addressed members of the Coastal Commission about their concerns during public comment. San Onofre's rushed and reckless decommissioning has created a dark cloud over the storage facility that may make it impossible to ever relocate the waste. And SoCal Edison is giving their presentation to the board right now. We'll let you know what happens next. We're now reporting in Chula Vista. Mimi Alcala, 10 News.